now. Okay, I think I'm uh, recording now. All right, guys. So uh, we are in section um, uh, seven. Uh, so this is section uh, seven point uh, three, right? So this is uh, it's about areas under uh, any normal distribution. So again, guys. So the the homework homework five. Um, which is due this Friday. It's about uh, chapter six, right? About sections uh, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, right? Uh, now, next week, I will assign a new homework and uh, it will be uh, about this uh, chapter, uh, the first uh, three sections of this uh, chapter seven. So yeah, I was saying this chapter seven, it's not, uh, it's not an easy chapter. So uh, again, guys, if you need help, please, um, you can use the, the online tutoring. You can find all the information about the online tutoring on Cuny Blackboard, or you know you can email me too, and uh, you know to take an appointment. And we can meet like for one hour, you know, and discuss uh, if you have any questions, you know, specific questions or um, any trouble with the homework. Uh, but you need to send me an email, right? Because um, you know, of course, I'm you know. Um, uh, I have like, I teach like uh, three classes, etc. I have uh, a lot of things to do. So, so yeah, we, we need to take an appointment, right? Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, um, so uh, this is section 7.3. So uh, let me just remind you. So what we said yesterday, right? So, um, so the goal here in this uh, section, well, first in the section 7.2, uh, we said so in section seven point two. Uh, we can we know how to find. So we learned how to find. So uh, we know how to uh, find uh, areas or probabilities. Find areas and uh, probabilities for any uh, for uh, uh, standard probabilities for uh, uh, you know for standard standard normal distribution. So when I say standard normal distribution, I mean standard normal distribution. And it means that your uh, first, your, your mean, the population mean mu is uh, zero um, and your uh, uh, standard deviation sigma is uh, one. Standard deviation sigma. One and then the our we denote our variable as of the variable x, so we use the variable z for this uh, standard uh, normal distribution. So the variable is uh, z. anyway. So the thing about this uh, standard normal distribution is that uh, we have a table. So this is table three in the formula sheet, and this table three gives us the so table three gives us the areas to the left, uh, the areas. Uh, to the left for any for any value of z, right? The areas to the left, to the left for any value for any value of z. Value of z. Um, and again, the, the, the area to the left that's uh, the probability that z is less. So the the area, just to remind you here an important uh, point. Um, so uh, the area to the left, that's exactly the probability that uh, to the left of some number, to the left of, um, you know, some number, let's say uh, z, uh, z zero, z subscript zero. So the area to the left of z subscript uh, zero, that's the probability that your variable z is less than z zero. Okay, so less than. All right. Anyway, so we discussed how how to use the. I mean, I, I tried to explain how to use the stable P, you know, to find this probability that z is less than a number, and also when z is uh, larger than a number. Uh, so when z is larger than a number, that would be the area to the right. 
And then the third case would be when Z is between uh, two numbers, right? So when Z is between two numbers, you need to take the difference between the, the areas uh, to the left. All right, so now in this uh, section seven, uh, we said the goal, so now in section seven, so in this uh, 7.3, 7.3. So the goal is to find, find areas or probabilities. Um, I'm sorry, Professor. You said that yeah. Z, Z zero? Yeah, Z okay. is zero. Z, Z subscript zero. I, I, it's just, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, it's just a number, right? Some okay. random number. Yeah. Uh, uh, find areas and probabilities of. Uh, um, uh, you know, for a random, for a random variable x, variable x, variable x, uh, uh, that follows uh, a normal distribution, that follows a normal distribution, not a standard normal distribution, but just a random normal distribution. So, which means that the, the mean and the standard deviation they can be just, uh, you know, random numbers, right? It is, they don't have to be zero and one. So uh, a normal that follows a normal distribution with the random mean with random uh, mean, so random mu and random standard uh, deviation, uh, standard deviation signal. So again, guys, you need to understand the difference between a standard normal distribution. In the case of the standard normal distribution, the mean is zero, the sigma, the standard deviation is one. Now here in this uh, section 7.3, we are discussing uh, normal distribution with the random mean and random standard deviation signal. Okay, so they don't have to be equal to zero or one. Okay, so uh, standard deviation. Uh, so. All right, um, so we said the idea is, what we need to do is to convert so we need to make like a, a change of uh, variable. And so we need to convert the X to Z. So the idea is to convert the values of X, convert the values, the values of X to Z. Once you convert the value of your X to Z, then because uh, you know how to find the areas to the left of the, uh, uh, random values of Z, right? The, the, the standard normal distribution, then you can use a table, right? Uh, our table number three. So now the relation or this change of variable is given by the following formula. So your Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. All right, so let's do a leisure exercise from the textbook. I'm gonna show you how to solve, you know, such a, a, a problems. Um, so for example, I'm gonna take exercise uh, 7. Uh, let's see, uh, 26, uh, page 26, page uh, 327, uh, 327, all right, from the textbook. Um, okay, let me write down the problem. Uh, so it says, um, uh, there's a four frame, I don't know what it is, but uh, so it says porphyrin is, that's a, a pigment in the blood, is a pigment in uh, the, the blood. Uh, 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 Portoplasm. Anyway. Um, so let's say X, your variable X. Um, so it's a random variable that represents the number of uh, milligrams of porphyrin. So this is the, the number X. That's the number, number of milligrams. Milligrams of uh, porphyrin. This uh, so X um, X actually follows 
we suppose that X uh, is approximately normally distributed. So X is, uh, X is normally distributed. Distributed, All right? And with the mean, so the average, so the population average, or the so the, the, the mean, the population mean. So the mean with mean. So the average mu is equal to, I guess uh, it says the uh, thirty-eight. So it's a uh, thirty-eight, uh, I guess uh, milligrams. Okay, of uh, this forfeit. So in the average, uh, we have uh, like thirty-eight milligrams of this forfeit, uh, and standard deviation sigma, uh, the population standard deviation sigma is, uh, it says sigma, uh, it says equal to um, 12, right? So you see guys here, your variable X, here's your variable X. So X represents the number of milligrams of this porphyrin in the blood, uh, et cetera. So, and we know that X, follows a normal distribution, right? And uh, the mean of this normal distribution is uh, 38. So the, the average uh, the average of the, this uh, porphyrin is actually 38 milligrams and the standard deviation is actually 12, right? All right, so let's do first the uh, first question. So it says, what's the probability that X is less than 60? So A, So if you select a random person, right? You select a random person. Uh, the question is, uh, what's the probability of X? So we select a random person, of course. Uh, so we select, or we choose, uh, we select a random, random person. Okay, so A, so what's the, uh, so question A, uh, what's the probability that uh, that X is less than 60? The probability that X, again, X, guys, X is supposed to be the number of milligrams of this porphyrin, right? So that X is less than 60. So what's the probability that the, this, uh, that the X, the number of, uh, number of milligrams of porphyrin is less than uh, 60, 60, 60 milligrams, of course. Um, all right. Um, so how do we solve such a problem? Well, first it says the normal distribution, uh, there is this, the mean is given, right? We say there's 38, there is a standard deviation 12. Here we need the probability that X is less than, right? It says X is less than, so, X is less than, so that's probably that X is, so less than, right, 60. So again, this is a symbol, this inequality here means that X is less than, right? This is less than, less than, okay? Now, less than, uh, that's, so that'll be the area to the left, area to the left, okay? So whenever you see the word less than, then we need to find the area to the left of this uh, left of uh, 60, right? Because your X is less than 60. So that's the area to the left of uh, 60 in your normal distribution, right? All right, so how do we find this area to the left? Again, all we have is this table three where, uh, so the table three gives us the, the, the areas to the left for a standard normal distribution where you have this variable Z. So here, we don't have the variable Z. It's not the standard normal distribution. It's just a random normal distribution with variable X. So we need to convert this X or this 60 to, uh, to a value of Z. So, so first step, so that's equal to, so this is like your step one here. So we need to convert X to Z, right, using, the formula, uh, you know, Z is X minus mu over sigma. All right, so 
this is my probability, so capital P. So now I'm converting X to Z, right? So instead of X, I'm gonna use Z. So here's my Z, less than. And now I need to convert this 60 to some value of Z, right? This 60, this is a value of X, right? Because here we are talking about X, X less than 60. That's a value of X. So I need to convert this value of X to some value of Z. And to go from X to uh, Z, you need to use this formula right here. So it's your X, which is a 60, All right? So here's my, uh, so here's my 60. And then we have minus mu, right? Minus mu. So it's minus my mu, my mean, right? Here's mu. Mean it's 38. So here's uh, minus 38 over, and then in the format says over sigma. So over sigma, here's my sigma, right? It's 12. Okay. So again, the 60, that's a value of X and you need to convert the 60 to a value of Z. And that's how we convert using this formula. So that's how we convert X to Z. All right, so now, all I have to do is to compute first this, uh, uh, this fraction here. So it's a Z less than, uh, so 60 minus 38, it's uh, 20, uh, 22, I think, right? Um, over 12. So that's probability that Z is uh, less than, so 22 over 12, uh, let's see here in my notes. 1.83. Uh, thank you. Yeah, 1.83. Thank you. All right. So now, because here we have a standard normal distribution, I have this variable z, and now I can use my table. Uh, so here is my step number two. Uh, so in this step number two, I can use my table uh, p to find uh, this area to the left, right? Because again, we said this is less than, z is less than, Right, this is less than, so uh, it's just the area to the left, and that's exactly what the the table we uh, contain. Right, it contains the areas to the left. So of course, well, one point eighty three. Uh, so we're gonna need to use our table. So we need to find the nearest uh, tenth. So nearest tenth, we said tenth. That's the first digit of the decimal point. So that's eight. So the nearest tenth will be one point eight. 1.8 and the nearest hundredth, right? The hundredth, that's the second uh, digit after a decimal point. So that's the three, right? That's uh, your hundredth. So it's just a, a point of three. So let's uh, check the table. Let me just check, uh, share with you the table guys. Uh, uh, so it's 1.8, that's the nearest. Um, so where's the table three? This is table two, here's table three. So it's positive. 1.8, right? So it's not in the first, uh, uh, the first, uh, first, uh, first part of the table. So it's uh, our first page. It's in the next page. Here we have the positive values of Z, right? The first column. So we need to go to 1.8, as you can see. So next to 1.8 is like 0 0.9641, 0 0.9649, etc. Now, which one we're gonna pick? Well, uh, now we use our nearest uh, hundredth. And we said it's a point zero 0.03, right? The three, that's the nearest hundred. So as you can see here in the top. Nine, six, uh, five, six. Yes. So yes, so that the answer would be uh, point, uh, nine, uh, six, six, uh, four. So point nine, six, six, four, four. So point nine, six, six, four. Okay, which is, if you wanna convert this into percentage, multiply by hundred, so that's 96.64%. Will that so, be our last step? Uh, yeah, just two steps, right? First step is okay. to convert, yeah, to convert this X to Z. Second step, just uh, use your table. But here it's kind of, here it's, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of uh, easy here because your Z is less than, right? uh all right that's so why i'm asking the, yeah, yeah can you so, do one where we yeah, have yeah. to subtract yeah. from the 100 so, percent? yep yep that's what i'm gonna do next so that's uh so this is for a so a uh 
uh, it's your x less than, uh, we said x less, less than 60. All right, so now in B, uh, any questions so far, guys? Uh, let me see the chat. I wanna make sure that everyone is on the same page. Let's see the chat. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, this is, okay, I got you, thank you. Uh, all right, guys. Um, all right, so for B, it says uh, x less than, uh, sorry, where is it? Yeah, x is greater than the 16. So B, you need to find, so you select a random person, of course, and you need to find the probability that, find the probability that x, again, x, that's the number of milligrams of this porphyrin, uh, et cetera, right? Um, so, but x is less than, uh, uh, sorry, greater than 16. Oops. And uh, 16. 16 milligrams, of course. Uh, all right, so here, uh, as a first step, uh, so again, here's your x, uh, but now it's not less than, right? In the previous uh, uh, question, it was less than 60. Here, it's greater than uh, 16. So it's larger than 60 or more than 60, right? So this is the probability that x is larger than 60, right? This is a symbol for uh, larger than. This means larger than, right? I mean, there are two symbols, right? This one here, this is larger. And the other way, that's less, right? So X is larger than 60. All right, so as a first step, uh, we said we need to convert uh, uh, X to Z. So that's like a first step. So here, step one, convert X to Z. Of course, using the formula, so your Z is X minus mu over sigma. Right, so that's probably probably that uh, instead of x we're gonna use z. So here now it's z, uh, same uh, inequality, right? It's larger than. Uh, now we're gonna convert this 16 to some value of z. Right, so this 16, you take your 16, and that's like your x here. That's your 16 minus and then mu. So minus mu, uh, the mean. We said the mean is problem, right? The mean itself. Uh, 38, right? So it's minus 38. So 16 minus 38, minus 38 over, and then divided by this uh, uh, sigma, right? Uh, the, the standard deviation, right? Sigma is in this problem, it's uh, 12, right? As you can see right here, it says 12. So uh, it's over 12. All right, so let's just complete this uh, fraction here. This is probability that Z is uh, larger than, so uh, 16, uh, 16 minus uh, 38, that's negative uh, 22. Now just be careful here, guys. There's a huge difference between uh, negative and positive, right? Because, you know, in the table, when you use table, uh, the values for negative Z and positive Z are, are different, completely different, right? So uh, you need to be careful with the sign. So here, it's like, it's 16 minus 38, so it's negative 22, right? So it's not positive 22. It's negative 22 over uh, 12, so it's just a uh, uh, probability that z is uh, larger than negative, and again, 22 over 12, it's uh, 1.83. But this time, it's negative 1.83. All right, that's the first step. We converted our x to z, right? Next step, we are supposed to use the table. But here, we need to be careful because, uh, this is larger than, so larger than, but the table gives us the, the probabilities when the Z is less than, not larger than. So larger than, that's the area to the right, area to, to the right of this negative, uh, of this negative uh, 1.83, right? So as a step two, first, as a step two, I'm gonna, uh, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna use our formula, which says that the, the area to the right, right, because it's uh, larger than, so that's the area to the right. 
So we said area to the right, it's always one minus the area to the left. So it's one minus the area to the left. So that's Z less than negative 1.8 ADD, right? Because less, that's the area to the left. So this is less than, so that's the area to the left. And again, guys, we need the area to the left because it's uh, it's given by our table P, right? Table P contains the areas to the left, not the area to the right. All right, now I can use, so now I hear I can use my table P. So we have one minus, and then, uh, so our Z here, it's negative 1.83. So of course, minus 10th would be, you know, it's just take the first, only the first digit of the decimal point. So that's negative 1.8 and uh, 100, of course, it's just, uh, again, it's uh, the, the O fee, point O fee, right? So uh, let's just go to the table. Now our Z is uh, negative. So it's negative 1.8. So as you can see in the first column, if you go down to negative 1.8, next to negative 1.8, that is 0 0.035. 9.0351, etc. But uh, our hundredth is actually 0 0.0 feet. So we need to go to the, the fourth uh, column, right? So it's so then the answer would be uh, 0 0.0268, right? 0 0.0268. So here it's one minus 0 0.0268. Okay, uh, so that would be equal to. Uh, no, it's not. It's not that one. It, it, I oh. think it's the one below it. It's Oops. um point zero three three. Sorry. Six. Uh, did I? Oh yeah, I I think the one minus uh, negative one minus uh, one point nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. Thank you, uh, Yanni. It's point uh, zero three three six. Sorry. Yeah. Point uh, zero three three six. Thank you. Uh, um, thank you, Yanni. Pieces. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so the, the, the answer would be, uh, so that's equal to point zero point zero point nine uh, six six four. Um, and of course, convert to into percentage, multiply by 100, that's 96.64%. All right, so again, the answer here, what we are saying, let me just, uh, Erase this thing here. So the probability that, so this is my answer, probability that X is uh, uh, larger than 60. <coughs> I'm sorry. I think I uh, kind of, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, I have a kind of flu or cold, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, so probably that X is larger than 16. So it's, uh, so it's 0 0.9664, right? 96.64%. All right, guys. Yeah, so here, just be careful. So there is a difference between uh, when it says like X less than or X uh, is greater than, right? Less than, so that's the area to the left. You can just, you can use the table. But then if X is larger than or greater than some number, then uh, you need to, uh, first use this uh, formula uh, where it says like the area to the right would be one minus the area to the left. Um, all right, so. Uh, so that's yeah. always when it's larger. When it's larger, yeah. we have to do the extra step of one minus yeah. the area we got. Yeah, 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 one minus the area we got, yeah, absolutely. So after you get the, the number, the, the 0 0.033 on the table, we do that number. Wait, what, uh, one what minus you, that number. Oh, one minus that number. Okay. Yeah. One minus that number, and then it will be that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, any other question, guys? Uh, let me just check the chat. All right. Uh, so, okay. So we have x is less than 60, x is greater than 16, and then you see it says x is between 16 and 60. So this is like the third, this is like the third case. 
so in B, it says, of course, find the probability that your X, again, X represents the, the number of milligrams of this profit, right? Uh, and you wanna find the probability that X, if you select a random person, what's the probability that your X, the number of uh, profit, mili uh, number of milligrams of profit is between uh, 16, so X is between, uh, so we need to find the probability that X, X is between uh, 16 and 16. So it, uh, between, uh, we denote between like this. So your X is uh, on the left, you have 16 and on the right, you have 16. Okay, so this is X between 16 and 16. It's between 16 and 16. All right, so as a first step, always uh, convert X to Z. Right, so as a first step, step one, convert X to Z. So Z again should be X minus mu over sigma. So that will be probably that. So here's my Z now, because I wanna convert X to Z, like this change of variable. Now I need to convert the 16 and the 60 to some value of Z. So 16, if you're 16 minus mu, it's a 38 again over uh, standard deviation, which was um, 12, I think. What was the standard deviation? Yes, 12. It's 12, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 here. And the other side, it's a 60 minus 38 over 12. Um, so just compute the fraction on both sides. You know, this is more like 22 over 12. Here's your Z. This is a positive, um, this is positive, of course, uh, 22 over 12. Uh, so we got uh, negative 22 over 12, that's negative uh, 1.8 uh, uh, Z. And here it's positive, 1.8. So that's the first step, convert my X to Z. Now, second step, I'm, I'm supposed to use my table, right? But again, table doesn't give you the area between two numbers. The area, the, the table gives you the area to the left. So I want to convert this to some um, to some expression with the areas to the left. So, so step two here. So the idea is, uh, if you uh, want to compute the area between two numbers, then the area between the two numbers is actually the difference between the areas to the left. So you take Z less than, and you take the second number. Okay, you take the largest number, which is positive. You take the first number, the second number, one point, uh, positive 1.80p. So this is positive 1.80p minus probably that Z is less. Please leave your message for three, four, uh, seven, nine, six, three. Uh, I guess I need to meet someone. Uh, um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the, the first number is negative. This one here, right here. So it's negative. Your answer has to be positive anyway, guys. So the, at the end of the day, if your answer is not positive, then, um, then you made, uh, you, you made a mistake uh, somewhere. So this is negative point, uh, negative 1.83. All right. And so again, both are, Area, areas to the left, right? This is less than, so this is area to the left, to the left of this positive 1.8p, and this is also area to the left, less than. So now, of course, I can use my table um, for positive, positive 1.83, uh, we said uh, that will be uh, point, Nine six six four from the table. So point nine six six four from the table, and uh, negative one point eighty three. I mean, we did it in the in uh, question number two, and it's actually uh, point uh, zero three uh, three six. So point zero three three six minus. So take the difference. We need to take the difference. So here minus uh, 0 0.0336. <clears throat> so 
So we take the difference, we subtract. So minus uh, 0 0.036, 0 .0 and that'll be equal to point zero point uh, or point nine three two eight. Right, uh, convert into percentage, multiply by 100. So that's 93.28%. So again, the answer, what we are saying here is that probability, so if you select a random person, then the probability that uh, the, the, the number of uh, milligrams of porphyrin in the blood between uh, 16 and uh, 60 is actually equal to this point, 93.28. In other words, 93.28%. Right? So again, you need to take the difference here. So between, take the difference. Uh, but just be careful. It's first, you take the first, the, the, the second number, right? I took plus 1.83, right? So first you have plus 1.83, you take the, first, the second number minus the area to the left of the first number. Okay? Because the difference has to be uh, uh, positive. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, any uh, any question? Um, well, we can do uh, I guess uh, another exercise uh, from the textbook. Uh, let me just check if in chat if there's anything. Okay, in the chat. All right, so let's do a, another exercise from the textbook. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's do an exercise. Uh, Again, it's uh, it's about uh, health. So it's uh, exercise twenty-five. Same page, uh, page uh, B twenty-six. All right. Uh, so what does it say? So X here, that's uh, the random variable measured in milligrams of glucose. So this is X, this is a random variable. Uh, so this is, so X is, uh, represents, so a uh, number of milligrams. Milligrams of glucose. Um, in the blood, and uh, it says, uh, let me see, so X, we suppose X, uh, X is uh, normally distributed, is normally distributed with mean, so population mean, so the average of a number of milligrams of glucose uh, so the average with the population mean mu is actually equal to, um, so it says 85. So we have like 85 milligrams uh, of the glucose. And then uh, standard deviation says, and uh, standard deviation sigma, Uh, is actually equal to 12, uh, no, sorry, sorry, no, it's uh, 25, sorry, 25 milligrams. All right, um, so. Okay, so we need to find, so find the probability that, find the probability that, of course you select a random person, and you measure a number of milligrams of, of glucose in the blood, etc. And I want to find the problem with that uh, your X, the number of uh, milligrams of glucose, uh, is more than 60. So here it says X is more than 60. It says X is less than one, uh, 110, it's less than 110. 
x is less than the number of milligrams of glucose, etc., is less than 110. And then it says x between. So if you select a random person, what's the what's the probability that the number of milligrams of glucose in the blood is between uh, 60 and 110? X is between 60 and 110. Uh, and D. Uh, it says X is greater than 125. So here it says like the borderline, borderline uh, diabetes starts starts at 125. It's borderline diabetes starts at 125. I'm not sure if this is true, but anyway. All right, guys. Um, so I'm gonna give you some time to think about this exercise. Uh, again, so here you have your variable X, normal distributed, the mean is given, right? Uh, you have your standard deviation uh, sigma, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, say you have a couple of minutes or five minutes or five minutes to think about this problem. Um, I can actually give you the answers. I mean, uh, uh, it says, so the answers are supposed to be, I mean, if you, just to, if you wanna check your answer uh, for A, so A, uh, B, C, and D. So it says like for A, the answer is supposed to be uh, 84, 84.13% uh, for B. It's also 84.13. Uh, for C, the answer should be 68.26, uh, 26%, of course. And uh, D, it's, uh, sorry, 5%, 5 percent, 5 point, it's 5.48%. Uh, 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 All right, guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes to think about this. Oh, yeah, by the way, again, just to remind you guys, uh, final exam. So the second test uh, is gonna be on uh, Wednesday, uh, May 11th, right? And the final, uh, it's on May uh, 20, uh, you said, I think 23rd, right? Uh, Monday. So this is a Monday and uh, May 11th, it's a uh, uh, it's, uh, Wednesday. I think the last day of classes is, uh, should be Monday. Uh, let me check uh, the calendar. Uh, last day of classes is actually, uh, let me see. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, actually May 16th. That will be the last day of class. So that's a Monday. So I guess after the second test, uh, so we're gonna meet on Monday, uh, May uh, 16th. So that'll be the last lecture. And I guess during that lecture, I'm gonna, we're gonna go over second test and, uh, uh, and review, uh, you know, the material for the first test, right? Because the final covers uh, both the first and the second, uh, everything covers everything, right? So, uh, yeah. And of course, we're gonna have a review for the second test.
Professor, you know how you put the stuff up for the tutoring? Yeah. When, say like I do the tutoring, can when they're tutoring me, can they help me with my homework? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, oh. you can help you with your homework, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Professor, I have a question. On, yeah, please. Um, the number one, 60 yeah. minus 85 is negative 25. Then yeah. it's, it's, then now you do negative 25 divided by 25 is negative one. Yeah. And that negative one, um, I'm assuming obviously it's with zeros on the side. It will be on the table. It will be 0.1587. Uh, well, just be careful here because it's more than, right? So if that's it's more right. than, that's okay. the, 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 yeah, that's the area to the right. So that would be one minus the area to the left. One so minus we're, that number, minus yeah, 15. Yeah. Then, that's where yeah. I'm, I'm every time getting, yeah, getting yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. it'd be one minus uh, the number you get from the table. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Pissing me off. I want Uh, you know, this is like a standard problem. Uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, almost 100% uh, sure you're going to have the sim very similar problem, either like in both in the, in the second test and in the final. So this is like a very, like, like this is like a standard problem from chapter uh, seven or section uh, 7.3. Uh, so I'm almost sure, I'm 99% sure that uh, you're going to have very similar problem in both the second test and the, and the final. Okay, so uh, it would be a really good idea to make sure that you know how to answer like this kind of uh, uh, exercises or problems, okay? Because it's very, that's like well, what we, it's like the standard problem, in the standard problem like for test and final. Because actually this problem, uh, we are using the table, which means we are using like section 7.2. I mean, this problem uh, like covers sections uh, 7.3, 7.2, right? And uh, 7.12, okay? So it's, uh, this is like a typical problem for, uh, for chapter seven. Uh, of course, there are more exercises. I'm gonna do a lot of, I mean, we're gonna do just exercises today. Uh, and after this exercise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do probably one more, uh, at least one more exercise. But of course, guys, if you wanna practice, there are more exercises in the textbook. And uh, and next week, uh, in the homework, the, ne uh, the, the next homework, I will probably give you uh, a similar problems. But anyway, yeah, I'm just saying this is a problem they're gonna get in the final and in the test, next test. Just make sure that you know how to solve uh, this problem. Um, yeah, I mean, um, and then uh, actually we we're, we're, I mean, after the exercises, uh, we are done with this uh, section 7.3. Um, so there is, I think, uh, uh, we're going to move to the next uh, sections. Uh, next sections are kind of uh, short, there are short sections. Uh, so probably we're going to finish uh, this chapter 7 next week, uh, by, probably by Tuesday. And then, of course, uh, there are two more chapters uh, left, chapter eight and nine. And each uh, chapter has like, I think, two or three sections. So I think we are in good, in good uh, uh, track to finish uh, like the whole material, at least the statistics and the probabilities, right? Uh, I think we are in good track. Anyway. Uh,
Uh, let me see if uh, there is any question in the chat. Questions? Well, in general, like if there are no questions, it's not it's not a good sign. <laughs> but anyway, well, I hope uh, it's, uh, it's because it's uh, um, you know how to solve this, guys. Um, but anyway. And for C, we just have we basically have to use the 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 numbers we found on the table for A and B. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It just oh, take the oh difference. God. Okay. Yeah. And take the difference. Yeah. Uh, of course, this is just because, like in this problem, we, we we have the same numbers in A and B. I mean, in C, we have the numbers in uh, A and B, right? Sixty and one ten. But of course, just be careful, like. I don't know, you have a different, in the different exercise, you can have like different numbers than uh, the A and B, right? Um, it's just, uh, yeah. Here it's just a coincidence that we have the same numbers in uh, C, A, and B. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll give you uh, four more four more uh, minutes. Um, so after this exercise, probably going to do one more exercise, uh, either twenty seven or twenty eight on the textbook uh, section seven point two. I mean, it's just the same. I mean, if you take a look to the exercises in the textbook, it's just like the same, like the same kind of uh, questions, right? You would say like x is larger than x less than uh, is less than x between two numbers, etc. Right. So most of the problems are like in the section seven point two in the textbook. They are very, are very similar problems. I mean, it's just a uh, same. Uh, it's the same language. <clears throat> okay, I got the. I thought I was not gonna get the last one. I, um, it's, you're it's done the with the Yeah, no, I and I I did one minus the first number oh, on the on the table, and it was um that number. Okay. Five. So. Point zero five, four eight. Four eight. Okay. So the the answers are correct. So you. Have yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. Uh, did anyone else uh, get the, these answers? I don't know if you have, uh, if you tried. Uh, let me see the chat. Okay, Kayla. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, I mean, this is, of course, this is about uh, chapter seven. It's not really related to chapter six. Uh, like, there are two different chapters. Uh, but uh, yeah. Um, all right, guys. Uh, so, all right. So let me go over very quickly about uh, over this uh, over this exercise. So in A, and of course, uh, please interrupt me if uh, if you have any question. So in in A, it says x is more than more than or uh, greater than or larger than. So that's probably that x is larger than. Uh, it says uh, sixty. So it's a 60 here, right? Uh, so X is larger, larger than 60. So first, as, as a first step, we said we convert X to Z. So that's now instead of X, we, we use the variable Z, Z larger than, and we convert this uh, 60 into to some value of Z. So that's 60 minus, we need to subtract the, the uh, the mean, which is uh, 85, and over uh, the, the, the standard deviation, which is, of uh, course, 20, uh, 25. So that will be Z larger than, so you compute this fraction, 60 minus 85, that's negative uh, 25 over 25. 
So that'll be uh, z log of n negative one. So when I say, of course, negative one, that's like negative, uh, you know, it's just the same as negative uh, one point uh, zero zero. That's the same thing. All right, so that, that's the first step. Convert the value, value of x to a value of z. Second step, of course, we are supposed to use the table. But again, table gives us the area to the left. This is not the area to the left. This is the area to the right because this is larger, right? This is the area to the right of negative of uh, negative one, to the right of negative one. So now, how to how do we find the area to the right? Well, it's always one minus the area to the left. So that's one minus probably that z is less. That's the area to the left of this negative one uh, point zero zero. Now we can use our table. So if you go to the table, uh, let me see my table right here. Just make sure that I have the right answer. Uh, so it's negative one uh, point zero. That's the nearest tenth, and nearest the hundredth would be point uh, zero zero. So that's one minus uh, point fifteen eighty seven, and uh, I think then the answer would be point eighty four. Uh, uh, 13. So that's exactly 84.13%. Uh, All right. Uh, B. Again, guys, if you have questions, please interrupt me. Okay. Um, B. It says uh, less than, right? Less than 110. So X less, right? This is less than 110. So uh, step one over X to Z x to z. So instead of x, we're going to use the variable z and convert this 110 to a value of z. So that's 110 minus the, the mean, which is 85, over the standard deviation, which is 25. So this is z less than 110 minus 85. It's actually 25 over 25. So that's uh, 1, exactly 1, right? So this is the probability that z is less than 1. I mean, if you want to write one as a decimal, it's just 1.00, right? So the same thing. Now, I, we can move to the step two, where you're supposed to use the table. And here we can, we can just use the table because we can use the table because this is the area to the left, right? This is less, this is area to the left. So if you check uh, your table, Table B, this is positive 1.0. Uh, and the answer would be 0 0.8413 from the table. Right, this is table. Right, nearest tenth, it's 1.0. And nearest hundredth, it's just uh, 0, 0, 0. All right, the next, so this is B, C. It says, I think, between. If I'm not mistaken, between 60 and 110. So your X is between, your X is between, right? So this is how we denote X between uh, 60 and the other side is 110, right? This is X between 60 and 110. Uh, step one, convert X to Z, X to Z. So now instead of X, we're gonna have Z. And then I convert 60 and 110 to values of z. So that's 60 minus 85, the mean over standard deviation 25. The other side, same thing, minus 85 over 25. Um, so again, it's 25 over 25. Uh, sorry, this is negative, right? Just uh, be careful, right? I, I almost uh, made this mistake where. So if you forget, of, like, uh, of course, if you forget the minus, then I'm going to get a different answer. So it's negative 25 uh, over 25, less than Z, less than, uh, this is positive 25 over 25. All right. So this is negative 25 over 25. Of course, it's 1, and Z, and this is positive. All right. So I convert my X to Z. I computed my fractions, etc. Now I can move to the next step where I'm supposed to use my table. And again, table gives us their areas to the left, but this is not the area to the left. This is z between two numbers. And z between two numbers 
that's uh, the, the difference between the areas to the left. So you take uh, the area to the left of positive one, the second number, it's always the second number first, minus the area to the left of the first number, the negative one uh, point zero. So Z less than negative one point zero, right? So this is areas to the left. Right, both uh, that's uh, the areas to the left. I can use the table now uh, for uh, 1.00. We said it's uh, 0.8413 uh, minus the area to the left of uh, negative 1.00. That's uh, 1587. 1587. Uh, and uh, so the difference, it's exactly point, uh, 64, uh, sorry, 68, uh, point, uh, 26, sorry. Uh, 68, And that's exactly my answer. Multiply by 100, that's 86.26%. Any questions so far? Let me see the chat. All right, questions. Oops. All right, so that's for C. Now, last one, it's, uh, so D, it says X is greater than 125. Of course, greater than means larger than, right? More than, more than 125. So X is more than 125. So uh, D, the probability that X is more, oops. Oops. Yeah. Uh, X is more than 125. Right, this is uh, larger than or more than. All right, so uh, convert x to z as a first step. X to z. So instead of x, we use z larger than, and this we, we need to convert this from 125 to a value of z. So that's 125 minus the mean, which is 85 over 25, which is the standard deviation, right? So this is probability that Z is larger than 125 minus 85, uh, it's 40 over 25. Uh, so that's probability that Z is uh, larger than. So 40 over uh, 25, uh, yeah, over 25. Uh, over 25, so it's one point, of course, uh, six, right? Now I can move to my step two, where I'm supposed to use a table. But again, this is larger than, so larger than, right? Larger than, that's the area to the right. And the area to the right, as we said, it's one minus the area to the left, always. And, and we need the area to the left, but because that's uh, what, the, what we have in the table. It's just the areas to the left. So this is one minus the area to the left of this 1.6. This is less, so this is area to the left. To the left of uh, 1.6. All right, so 1.6 or 1.60, so nearest 10 would be 1.6. So we need to go to 1.6. And uh, positive 1.6, and then nearest uh, hundredth. Well, nearest hundredth that's the second digit here. It's just zero, so that's 0, 0. So it's uh, the answer would be if you go to positive 1.6, the answer would be 94. Uh, uh, what is it? 94.52. Yes. So one minus 94. Uh, 94.52. Uh, and if you subtract one minus uh, 9452, that's exactly the, the answer, which is 0, 05 um, yeah, 48. In other words, that's 5 point, multiplied by 100, that's 5.48%. Uh, so that's the probability that the, your X, the number of uh, uh, milligrams of uh, glucose in the blood is. Uh, larger than uh, 125. All right, guys. Uh, so we have like, uh, let's say, uh, 15 minutes. So 
So we can do one more exercise. Uh, again, from the textbook. Um, and as I said, it's always the same thing, right? It's it's just the same uh, kind of uh, questions where probably that x is less, probably that x is more than, and x is between two numbers. So uh, here, let's do, well, uh, we have the choice between 27, 28, uh, between law enforcement. Uh, well, let's do the law enforcement, okay. Uh, so let's do the exercise uh, 20, uh, 28, uh, page um, 326, right? So uh, it's uh, it's about, as I said, law enforcement. It says uh, the police uh, response time. So this is, uh, uh, so it says uh, law enforcement. Uh, so variable x, I'm going to just write down what's a variable x. Uh, so uh, where's the variable x? Um, yes, so that's the difference. Uh, so x, so let's say x is the difference, uh, difference between Uh, between the time uh, between the time the call is first received by the dispatcher between the time that the call is uh, received uh, by the dispatcher and uh, and the time, And the time uh, between the police car arrives at the scene. And the time the police police car arrives at uh, the scene. Right. So again, so in other words, this X uh, represents the police uh, response time to an emergency uh, emergency call. All right, so uh, that's our X, and uh, let's say this X is uh, follows a normal distribution. X follows a normal distribution. Uh, follows a normal distribution, and let's say the average with average or uh, population mean. So in average with average or mean uh, mu. So in average, the police response time is it says eight point four minutes. Okay, and standard deviation of one point seven. <laughs> Sorry, and uh, standard deviation uh, sigma uh, 1.7. One seven minutes. All right, so we need to find the probability that, so for a randomly received emergency call, so for a randomly received Emergency, emergency call. Um, what the, the probability that the response time would be? What's the, the probability that the response time is uh, or will be? Uh, between so a it's so a it says uh, so between uh, five and ten minutes
in B it says uh, less than five minutes. And C it says more than 10 minutes. Right? Uh, so again, what's the what's the probability that the response time your the x that's again x is the response time uh, is between five and ten, less than five and more than ten. So um, let me write down here the answers for you guys. Um, so the answers should be so if you if you want to check your answer, uh, then uh, the answers supposed to be so for a uh, what was it supposed to be uh, eighty point. Thirty-six uh, percent. So what we are saying here is that, well, I, I don't know if these, I mean, the mean, this mean of the sum division is uh, are correct or not. But what we are saying is that the response time uh, is uh, between uh, the, the probability that the response time is between five and ten minutes is actually eighty percent, eighty point thirty-six percent. Less than five minutes, uh, it's supposed to be two point twenty-eight percent. And more than 10, it's actually at 17.36%. Uh, uh, right. uh, again, this is 0 0.8036. This is uh, 0 0.0228. And this is 0 0.1736. Um, so again, guys, the idea here is like in the test or in the final, you read the problem and you see a normal distribution. It says a normal distribution, right? So whenever you see the normal distribution with the mean and sigma, then uh, you know, then you are in the in this uh, chapter seven where we have this. We have to use this uh, table uh, number three, right? Anyway, um, so I'm gonna give you some time to think about this. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go over problem but uh, of course I, I'm here to answer any if you have any question guys uh, I'm here to answer your questions <clears throat> and you know if you understand how to solve this problem again uh, you can do any uh, similar problem right um, because it's always the same thing right you have your you need to find the probability that your x is uh, less than a number, more than a number, or between two numbers, right? So, if you know how, if you understand how to solve just one problem, then you'll probably you can probably solve any uh, similar problem. Okay. Is there tutorings on Thursdays or Fridays? Um, okay, let me check for you. Uh, just one second. Because I don't have class on Thursdays and Fridays. I could be doing that too. Yeah, I think, know? yeah, yeah it's, uh, yeah, I think, uh, let me just uh, check. I can send you the link actually. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's supposed to be available like for, from 10 to 6, uh, from Monday to Friday. Um, let me see. Yeah, so it's from Monday to Thursday. It's actually, oh, uh, online. It's actually from uh, 10 a.m. to uh, 10 p.m. Um, and for 23.5, I mean, math 23.5, uh, as I said, we have also the study halls on the, the, the weekends, so Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, but yeah, Thursday, it's from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, on, yeah, so uh, I should Black probably board. use that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can, uh, you, you wanna, uh, well, of course, there's an also in person, but I guess you wanna, you wanna be online, right? The online people. Yeah. Yeah, so I can, I can send you the, the link. Please, uh, Professor, because you did say, you know, you're busy, so maybe I can go on there tomorrow and, you know, spend as yeah, much time if, as I need with them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you, if you are free tomorrow, I, 
you know, from 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Uh, and of course, if you have uh, more like more questions or anything, you can, you know, you can email me. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, wanna, you want me to send you the link? Yes, uh, please. It's on Blackboard. Okay. Okay, I will, I will do it. And when you go on Tutor and they don't say, oh, well, you can, we only have like 30 minutes available. Is it like, it doesn't matter how much time we need? Uh, well, I'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I, I mean, especially like for this class, I mean, 23.5, 23, there are, I mean, I, I think there are a lot of tutors. So I, I, I think uh, they, they, they are available. I mean, you can spend more than one hour with them, I guess. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can check that tomorrow, I guess. All right, thank you. Sure. Professor, can you go yeah. over um, one after you get the, uh, you see you use the formula with the number five, then we use a formula with number 10 for the 10 minutes. What's your next step? Um, all right, so uh, the, talk that's about the C? Number, a, um, no, a. 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 a, oh, okay, A. Between. Uh, yeah, five between, and ten. Yeah, between five and ten. Yeah, I can I can do that. Uh, in the you. last four minutes, sure. So, uh, your X uh, has to be between. Uh, it's actually between five and ten, right? So, as a first step, you convert. Uh, step one, convert X to Z. So now it's Z between. Convert the values of X uh, to uh, values of Z. So five minus uh, the mean. The mean we said it's eight point four. So let's do that. Eight point four over uh, the standard deviation, which is one point seven. This is a uh, uh, and this is ten. So then here minus eight point four over one point seven. So let's compute this. So it's uh, okay. I need to check my. No, it's uh, five minus eight After that was done, it was negative two after everything. So, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Negative, right, right. negative yeah. 3.4, yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, 1. Uh, uh, 1.6 over 1.7. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so this is negative two. Uh, here, uh, 1. 6, uh, 1. 1.6 over uh, 1.7. It's 0.9411. Yeah, so let's say it's just a uh, zero point. Right. You're gonna right. need just the uh, nearest hundred, so ninety four. Okay. Uh, right. All right. So that first, that's the first step. Now, second step. You that's where. Take, I... you, uh -huh. So you need to take the difference between the areas to the left. You start with the second number. You always start with the second number. Yeah. Like the the zero ninety four. So that's like z less than the point uh, ninety four mm -hmm. minus uh, z less than the first number which is a negative two. Right. So now from the table, uh, zero, 94, let me see. So this is positive. Nearest uh, tenth is 0 0.9 and nearest uh, hundredth, it's uh, 0 0.04. So it should be 0 0.8264. Now for negative two, so Z is negative. Oh, that's what it is. Oh my God. You know what I was doing? Positive I was two. subtract, yeah, I was subtracting that already, like the 0.94 uh, and the negative two instead of finding no, that no. on the table. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Find okay. Table. Yeah. And Maybe I know table. this, but it, it just, I know it as I go, and then they have like five second rule, and then it's gone. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you need to be careful. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, so from negative two, so that's like negative two point zero zero. Uh, nearest yeah. is negative two point zero, etc. So the answer, I think, it's point uh, zero two two eight. And so if you take the difference, let me just make sure. So the difference, so it's a uh, zero point eighty uh, eighty two sixty four minus uh, zero point two uh, zero. Zero two two eight. So I think it's, that's exactly the answer. Oops. Hmm. Where is it? 
Oh yeah, uh, yes, that's exactly the, the answer, right? That's 0 0.80, 80, uh, In other words, multiply by 100, that's exactly the, uh, so the 80.36%, uh, 80 right? Yeah, that's correct. So that's 80.36%. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm, sure. All right, guys. Uh, I guess I'm going to I'm going to stop here. Um, so uh, next time we're going to probably start in a new section. And uh, yeah, so please don't forget your homework is due this uh, Friday. Thank you for listening and uh, take care as well. See you next Monday, hopefully. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good one, everybody. You bye. Too. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.